All right, folks, welcome back to the Alex Parker Road to the Show series here on MLB 22 PS5, episode 426. Again, huge episode here. We've got two more games against the Cubs in our entire series season. Let's make the best of it. Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll just have to see what happens. We're two games above them right now, so the worst that could happen in this series is that we go into the end of the season with, like, tied with them. So that's the worst that could happen. The best that could happen was that we take a four-game lead on him. But I'd also be cool sticking to three. You know, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Please get out of play. Thank you. I've been playing another baseball game recently. That you'll see later today. If you check it out at 5 p.m. So I'm adjusting. Meanwhile, this pitch gets It'll be a fun away. series. Now throw to first, but back easily. Alex has been a run driving a machine. I didn't even notice it was four to That's one already. Two balls, two strikes. But we do get one back, so the zone is critical. Most times guys are wanting to get hitters out down, but if you can get them to look up, get a called strike, that's gonna make that strike ah, a lot bigger. Timed it, but now just popped it out. Davis racing over to make the catch. All right, one down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about but it's four to three. So we're not out of it. We're hitting Olivares. All right, that is a double play ball, and Alex and Castro turn it. Beautiful. Two down. Unfortunately, it's been it was a one hit type deal. What did you do, Eddie? Did they? Did you just walk runs in, or did you give up a grand slam? He gave up a grand slam after hitting a bat batter and walking too. Huh. That's Can't do that. Yeah, it's not going to cut it. <laughs> Either way, we're only down one. As we approach the end of the season, all these games just become so stressful. Really not that stressed right now, but I will be. I have been all season. It'll be ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. One gone runner at first. Dan Herman is the, the hitter, team. hitting in the four Dan hole, Herman. oddly. Struck out swinging his first he walks, so we'll bring up Rafael Marchand. This dude can hit right a lefty. First base with a quick free pass. Hey, he's going to keep hitting his lefty. Meyer, or Marcel Meyer cannot get there. So it's going to score Parker. Here comes Herman. They're going to try it. He's out. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? Stay on your bag. You didn't get a good jump there. Uh, man. Right, well, two down and we are 6-6 six, six now. We're struggling to pitch, but so are they. What a way to start the episode. In there for strike one. Oh, one. The pitch. And there's something oh. you don't see very much in today's game the pitch out. 1 1 to Parker. Find some green, baby. Find some green. Oh, please, right bro. Oh, territory. my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. The fourth ends, it's still 6-6. Six, six. I just feel like I'm not providing any help. We give Eddie Rodriguez very minimal help. We give him, like, plus 5%. The spot to be to help your players the most is uh, a created catcher. The created catchers give, get to give plus 25 control. For their pitchers, which is insane. That would like 
solve some bullpens. Alex is going to turn it himself and holds the lead at 7 6. All right, we lead off. We're 0 for 2 right now. Alex Parker. And the first pitch misses for ball one. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Next pitch is downstairs. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently. It's 3 0 to the, the leadoff man here, Alex Parker. Here's a 3 0. There's a strike. We got the inside. We do not get the call. Yeah, there's some I would want there, that call if I was a pitcher too. 3 1. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk Change up again. Yeah, maybe he's more confident than that. I don't know. 3 2. Probably won't see another one here. He went change up again. Got him. I didn't miss time that. That's seven. just really bad. But here we are in the ninth. Yoan Adon is on the mound. It's on the ground to Alex. He's going to play. It throws. It's perfect. One down. Eight and nine do up. Ball game. Brewers win it. And win the final series against the Cubs on the season. But we've got one more to play. Man, a sweep would be nice. We've got Jarrett Fuller in the mound. He's really struggled lately. Same with him. We give him plus 5% confidence. And a pitch. Ground ball right side could be two. And what a play by Jimenez to Alex. Two down. Alex continues to play the field at such a high rate here. He is now sitting at a 998 fielding percentage and is not even in the top three for a gold glove at his position. That's crazy. Alex plays it and keeps this thing. Tied 0-0. Let's hit, boys. Sam Bachman's on the mound. Felt like we couldn't catch a break last game, and this is a good start to this one with a ground out. Ugh. It's been a struggle lately. And a payoff pitch. Keep working, Fuller. Out to short. Whips it across. Two away. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make it. It is 1 0 Milwaukee. The the Brewers take an early Here's lead. We need one of those patented Jared Fuller complete game shutouts he loves to throw. On He's off to a good to start. He's got three scoreless innings and 31 and pitches. It is a 1 2. Up now for Milwaukee, Alex Parker. They just haven't hit this series. We pop it out, dude. What in the... F, 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 F. We just can't hit, man. Shut up, Chris Singleton. You're so annoying. So up now for Chicago, Jonas Starr. On the ground, out to short. Play Alex. Fires over to first. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the... First All right, trouble second, here for Fuller and the third hitter in the lineup. Of course, it's C.J. Abrams, but he's not a great third hitter. He has had a really good year, though. Uh, they need to find him a spot in the field, man. I cannot believe he doesn't play field full-time. I mean, what does full-time look like on put-outs perspective? For a shortstop, it's 112. C.J. Abrams to hit. All right, C.J. 3-2 is chopped. Alex has it. Tosses. We're not going to turn two here. He's too fast for that. But we do get one. Fuller got out of it. Let's go. All right, let's freaking hit the ball, man. 0 for 5 this episode. Still just a one nothing game. Tons of room for the hitters. Absolutely. To improve on this. Comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Get up the middle. More selective instead of just looking out. Holy cow, man! 
barrel to it and we can't catch a break part of the plate as well and the New Brewers and have three innings left to hold this lead. Jarrett Fuller has thrown a good game, and we're going to start him off with an out here in the seventh. One down. Over to first, and the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Runner at first with two away. Roy Arnold getting ready to hit. Two outs. Beautiful. Out to short. All right, plays easy. We have six out. outs remaining. Out. Let's grab this win. Out. Come on, let's hit. Alex Parker. They tied it and they. This guy one of the best contact F. men in the sport as well. Outstanding on the defensive end. One out. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Swings through that. Trying to keep good speed Dang off it. the bases. You're good, Alex. Just need a second. 0 for 3. It's just 1 for 4 here. Next Disgusting. For Great. 1 2. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Holy. Dude, I can't catch a break. I mean, I'm not that far out front to miss that. Bad, bad start to the episode for Alex. He's been good in the field, though. And he will continue to be one down here in the night. We walk it off, baby. Come on. Who did it? David Maxwell, I think. And, uh, yeah, Maxwell hits it to left. Green scores. Wow, what a tough series for Alex, but not a tough series for the Brew Crew as we take all three from the Cubs going up four games in the division. There's a juicy pack, whatever. Um, next up is the Pirates, and we've just got to hold on to it now from here on out. Oh, I think we can do it. We are the... Oh, wow, the Giants have been on a roll. So they take the best, or the second best spot. I don't want to play in a wild card scenario. Right, well, I guess, no, this isn't the new one. So we'd be playing um, the Giants right now. The Phillies are way out in front in the NL East. All right, Fernando Gutierrez is the pitcher for them. We've got Hunter Brown. Gutierrez has had a great year. Hunter Brown's also had a good year, so should be a good matchup. So just about set. And now Tim Tucker can absolutely fly. I'm going to come in. Tim Tucker. The center fielder. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. So a man on base to start the inning. He needed out one. And here is. All right, really bad start to the game for Hunter Brown. Four at bats yesterday. He's worried with Baez running, I guess. Baez. Cubs won their First game, so gone. it's three and a half now. Next pitch misses. We don't want to go and get swept here. Let the Cubs get back into it. Also, let the Pirates first. get back in the race. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter. Alex player. Parker finally gets in the hit category with that. It's down. You can go score, buddy. You got it. Relay throw home. All right. 3-1. Milwaukee cuts the lead down with an Alex Parker double. He's 45th of the year. Wait, where's Sato? Is Sato all right? I pray he is. Is that Sato on deck? And Just hitting in the away. five hole? Maybe? Oh, and this is Felipe Romero. Felipe Romero. Cut this lead to one. Rocket arm behind the plate. The kick to three two. Stays alive. Felipe hitting two eighty four on the year. We give him some boost. Plus two. Power plus two clutch. He needs some power in that bat. Three two. He strikes Good out, though. Right there. Ah. 
Damian Edmonds. All right, Hunter Damian. Brown is not looking Big good down. right now. Here comes a pitch. Edmund. Grounder might be two. Parker. Edmund doesn't run to great, so it's a double one. play. How about that double two down. Play. Lindsay Grace, the next we'll hit in the fourth. Hit. He reached out a walk his first time. Out to short. In plenty Good play, of time. First out, number two. And welcome back. And now Alex Parker. Gutierrez back to work. Up the middle, we've got two hits already. Better in the Cubs series. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Mm, yeah, that's not a good there. swing, Riley. Right the slide step. It's, it's definitely Andrew. Alex's. Beautiful. We haven't seen how many bags we've taken in a while. That was number 36 on the year. I know somebody's beating us this year, which is crazy. Riley Green takes ball four. Beautiful. All right, two on, and nobody out for Felipe Romero, who just so happens to like to hit into double plays. He swings and fouls one off. He has too quick of a delivery to, uh, delivery to try for third. Quiet out there, not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he. But we're gonna try it anyway. He strikes out, and it's into the outfield. Alex is right up and running, and it's going to be a 3-2 game. And we took the lead. Come on now. Alex making things happen with his legs and his bat today. Been a big part in staying in this one. Oh, wow, they just... Why is that a pop-up, man? Mm. One down. And we give it right back up. Who did it? Who gave it up? Just wondering. It was Villa. So we've got two innings here. Good play. Middle lead. So two away with nobody on. Next nobody on first, for Alex. Parker. Sandy He's Saunders power, is the pitcher. But great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Oh so my goodness, man. I can't be any more on it. Righty to the plate. No, no signs of wavering on the Oh, the holy end. cow. Solid so far. You've got to be kidding me. Next one misses. One, two. Now one and two. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets Alex a gets a good piece. It's flown like out this. to left center. That's it's nice going to be right down. A tough time pieces. coming down with it, and Alex Just will have a double. Second double of the game, and we are a hit away from once again tying this thing up. Come on, Riley. Be that man. Good eye. Riley only 61 RBIs this year. Hitting 293, 148 hits. Watches that one. 3 2, 2 down. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. All right. It's 3 2, 2 down for Riley again. Riley's a hit machine. Righty delivers. Need him to be here. Medina, drop steps, it's foul, and Medina, wow, he didn't catch it for some reason. Okay, well, I'll take it. Odd, never seen that one happen in my 100, 426 episodes. Watching this game, Riley Green has RBI number 62 as Parker comes around to score again. There we go, man. We might have a shot to hit in the 10th here. Let's get out of this unscathed. 
on the ground. It's hit somewhat hard, but not really, but we still turn it. Bruno is not too fast, is he? One down, nobody on. James Karinczak, he's a tough one to hit. He's had quite a good career, I'm pretty sure. Um, Karen Jack, what's his overall at this point? He's a 75, he's 36 years old, and yeah, he's he's pretty he's had a pretty good career. He probably makes a good bit of money. 331 ERA, 654 strikeouts, and 525 innings. Pretty good. Go for Karen Jack. So one down here. You know this guy's great speed is That's in the back a pitch. Of that mind. That we are not gonna do much with. One more thing he's gotta think about. At the belt and fires. And Good eye. Alex has been so good today. Let's get on base and give our team another opportunity. It's inside, so 2 1. A lengthier game here might be only a four game episode. It'll be ball three. Karen Chuck. Other than the one really good pitch, has completely missed the zone. Three one is on the way, and that's ball. He missed. Alex will take his base. How big a deal is that walk? Here's Riley Green. I hope Sato's not hurt, man. We stay. Green hits and it works as a sacrifice. As Karen Chuck doesn't want to take the risk. To throw over to second here. And here is so two down. Romero. And a runner on second. Felipe Romero steps up. He's one for four today. And a count one and two. It's foul. Felipe, the single in the eighth is it. Kept that inning alive, but yeah, Maxwell could not or Kinsey Noel yeah, couldn't give us the lead, count and we're not gonna get the lead here and win it. Into the eleventh. Oh my gosh, dude. I tried so hard to win that game, and we lose. And we go back to a three-game deficit with the Cubs. Alex Parker getting ready to hit. Dustin May is the pitcher. Solid power season. And the first pitch for ball one. Gotta hit Chapis here. He's a terrible pitcher. Gotta hit him today. The mm. two oh is in for a strike. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Good pitch. To go away, I, I don't know why I didn't pull the trigger there. there. Finish you off. Next ball three. Pitch off the play. And that's ball three. Just get on and make something happen here, Alex. And it's It'll be ball, ball four, four. so we'll take another walk. Low. You can stomach a two-out walk to certain <sighs> players, but with his speed, this guy out there in the base pass, it could turn into two or three bases. Throw to first, Parker, back on a dive. Parker, the runner it's, at first with two goals. There's two outs, another throw once again checking on Alex. We're going to wait again. till the first pitch is thrown. Man, Sato's hurt, dude. This is not good. We would have Green. seen him That's by now. Green off. got a good piece of it. It's deep out to right center. It's over his head. Against Played against the fence. Alex is going home. It's going to be no play at the plate, and it'll be 1 0 Milwaukee here. Nice job, y'all. I hope Sada's okay. Next for Milwaukee, 4 0 Brewers. Good contact guy, good defender. First May on the mound. You're never sure what can happen, so let's be careful here. Not to get too confident. The pitch. And to keep Got putting it on. Ball. Huh. The pitch. That one it's outside. three out. And it's three and oh. Well, if this is a fastball down the middle, I'll swing. How's that? Yeah, the right hander deals. You know, I don't know if the fastball gets much more down the middle than that. <laughs> that is not swinging clearly. That one hits the lower part, so we'll get Weimer running here, and then we'll see what we can do. 
in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind. Alex got a good piece. Yeah, it's into the gap. It's down and off the base of the wall. Weimer was going, so it'll be another double for him. And it's a 5 nothing Milwaukee lead. Alex has been a doubles machine. Riley Green is one for one today with the RBI double. Almost did it again. It was a double, right? Yes. And one in scoring position. We're already into this Pirates bullpen. We go, but Green is down on strike. So, 6-1 to one is the score here. Good, Dustin. Dustin, you have been a different pitcher this August. I mean, just pitching really good games for us. I appreciate it, sir. Has a chance to even get into the fours for his ERA if he continues this pace. Alex Parker, up now for the Brewers. So, we doubled last time. Made it up to 140 RBIs. Good speed on base. Left hand batter waits. That one drifts inside. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. I'm worried. I don't know. I have a bad feeling about this. Two out, Alex. And it'll be three out. Go and walk the bases loaded with nobody out. See what happens. I'm taking all the way. Hands off the controller, and he goes in the zone. Good pitch. 3-1. And a pitch. Oh, no, man. We did it again. Uh, why do we always pop out that pitch? And it doesn't matter how we time it. I'm telling you, man, I'm worried we're going to blow this thing. Eight to five is the score. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Right. Two ball walks one. in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the Looking right for hit number 186. That's not it. That one fouled off. Why does he pop Two it out walks. every time? The base runners at first and second. There's no way to not get it cold if I can never get a hit off of it. Right Next offering is 95, in top of the zone, one, two. On a tee up in the zone. Dude, Chris Singleton, you're so dumb. That's hit pretty well, but it's going to be at the edge of the warning track. We lead by three now, heading into the sixth. Oh, no. Uh, we lead by two. Oh, man. Mm. With the number one offense in the league, we're going to have a lot of at-bats this year. We're looking at more well, a top amount of the bats we've ever seen in a season. O2. He plays it, so. Pulls him off the bag, Alex is on base. Perfect. It's an E4. Bags ours. Pitch in for a strike. So I don't really care. I don't really care how I get on. I'm going to make myself a threat on the base paths. Regardless, Riley Green into right. We'll stop here. Not worth it. Definitely not worth it. All right, Felipe Ramiro steps up. Don't hit into a double play. Fly this thing out. He's got a single earlier. Felipe Ramiro. He goes down the line. It's going to roll all the way to the wall. Ramiro's got two. Green's going to try it. It's a close one. No, it is not. It's 10 to 6, and the Brewers will pull away again. Ball game. Game over. Brew crew win. And that'll do it for our episode, ladies and gentlemen. We go 3 and 1 against some divisional opponents. That's a big, big time episode here.
Um, I love to see that. Uh, you absolutely love to see it. So that error ended up being a big deal. I mean, we didn't give up any more runs anyway, but we go right back to four. So they lost their very next game, which is perfect. So we're 75 and 58. The Nationals took it from the Phillies. My bad. I didn't know that. Um, they're 83 and 50. So it's going to be Phillies in the wild card right now. And Cubs are second, but the Marlins are only a half game behind them. And the Rockies are only two games behind uh, the Cubs as well. Pirates are working their way into something. They will go nine back in the division now. Um, we put out the Reds. We can put out the Cardinals almost. I don't know about yet, but we can come close to that. And now it's just up to uh, if we can put out the Pirates now and then the Cubs. Cubs have been on a losing streak big time here. Those four games put us at 29 games left on the season. So we'll see just exactly what happens um, in our third game with Pittsburgh. And then we hit a long road trip, or not a long road trip, but a road trip out west for uh, four games with Arizona and three with Colorado. Oh, man. Those are games we have to win as well. But we'll have to see when we get there. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. Sato. He tore his shoulder. Oh, my gosh, bro. This Douglas Sato tears his shoulder. Hedbert Perez tore his calf. And that's huge. Uh, shoulder separation is going to put him out till playoffs. All right, well, at least we'll have him back for the playoffs. He's always had injury problems. Maybe, I hope we resign him too. But we'll get him back for playoffs if we make it. <laughs> 75 wins right now. I think we're going to need around 92 to win the division. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for me. That's Alex Parker. So 426. In the